Welcome back in today's hot sauce. It is going to be 90 degrees outside today, so we decided to cool it down, quench our thirst with one of our fall favorite beverages that can be drank even on the hottest of weathers. We're here with Julie Siolik from Mackenzie's Beverages. Now, Mackenzie's, I have to say, is one of my favorites at all of the events. You go to the events at the zoo, there's always a Mackenzie stand, and it's always packed. But a lot of people out there don't quite know a lot about hard cider. So let's talk a little bit about Mackenzie's for a moment. What do you kind of specialize in? Well, our cider is made locally here in West Seneca. Mayer Brothers makes our cider, which they make the best cider around. So we start with a great product. And we have great flavors. It's really refreshing. Um, it blends a, very well with a lot of the craft beers that are out there today. There's so many brew fests, and we try to be a part of as many as we can. Uh, we have our great award-winning black cherry flavor. We have our original green apple, which is a little more dry and tart, not as sweet. And then we have our seasonal flavors, which is um, our specialty is the seasonal reserve. It's a cinnamon nutmeg flavor. It tastes like grandma's apple pie. Now, I want to point out the seasonal reserve because I get quite excited every year when it does come out. People love their pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. This kind of has a similar feel to it. It's very rich, very very warming almost. It is. It's like fall in a bottle. So it's it's perfect for this time of year. You can also heat it, heat it up and serve it warm with a little extra, you know, something kicked into it. So it's, it's really great product and uh, it's locally made, which is great for Buffalo. And you know, one of the benefits, like you said, is it's locally made, but another benefit that people don't know about is that it's gluten free. So a lot of people out there can't drink the craft beers that they love because they're maybe on a gluten free diet or maybe they can't processed gluten. This is kind of a craft beer for the gluten-free. It's true. Um, yes, gluten-free products are a big buzzword now. Um, a lot of the beer festivals, people love to go because it's a lot of fun. It's outside usually and a lot of people, but um, not everybody can drink beer or like beer. So we um, blend very well with the beer category and wine. So um, people that like wine, also like Mackenzie's Hard Cider because it's just really tasty, it's really refreshing, easy to drink. And when you talk about gluten-free, a lot of times they'll substitute something in the recipe where this is just made gluten-free because it's made with apples. Right, it's naturally gluten-free, there's nothing we do to it to make it gluten-free, it's just that's how it, that's how it's it, how it is. Yeah. So for someone out there that has never tried a hard cider, which one would you recommend starting with so they can kind of get the full experience? Well, I would say our black cherry is probably um, the crowd favorite. Everybody seems to like that one, it is sweet, but um, a lot of people just think it's delicious. It just, it's different, you know, and it's nice to have something different. The, um, the green apple is a little more dry and tart, so people that like a wine might like that one. But again, the seasonal reserve is just, it's so delicious. Yeah, the Who moment, doesn't like apple pie? The moment <laughs> the leaves start to change color or the snow hits, all I want to drink is the seasonal reserve. Now, when you're talking about pairing this with someone, a lot of people like to pick out a beer for a meal or a wine for a meal. What do you, what would you recommend eating with a hard cider? Um, it goes well with anything. It really does. Um, burgers, pizza, fish, chicken, anything, really. It just, um, it blends very well with just about anything you're going to um, serve. It's like the little black dress of <laughs> beverages. <right. laughs> That's right. Now, where can we find Mackenzie's Beverages? Um, locally, it's in uh, Wegmans, Tops, Consumer Beverages, Dash's Markets. We're in a lot of restaurants um, on draft and in bottles, such as Kohl's, Papa Jake's. Um, in the South Towns, we're at Mamoser's. Um, so many places, McGregor's, Buffalo Brew Pub. And then, you know, you're, you're doing so well. Real quick, last question, what comes next? Wow. Um, like you said, the pumpkin is a big flavor. We would like to come out with a pump pumpkin cider, but that probably wouldn't be till next year. Well, if, if you need don't. any taste testers, I volunteer right away. My hand is up. I will <laughs> taste test the pumpkin cider. Thank you so You're much, Julie, best. for visiting us today. Right now, we're going to send it back out to our web producer, yeah. Emily.